venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. But on this September weekend, an invasion of green and gold descended on Illinois, hosting a game there for just the fourth time in school history. Lately, venue doesn't seem to matter much for these South Florida Bulls who have roamed their way to 30 wins in their last 36 games throughout the South, North, East, and West. They were also looking for their fifth straight win against a Power 5 opponent in their final tune-up before American Conference play begins. Six and one versus Power 5 teams over the last seven games. You think about South Florida and what they can do offensively, lots of plays, lots of points, but defensively, remember, this is a Charlie Strong defense, a team that has his identity. They're gonna fly around and hit some people. And they elected to have that opportunity sooner rather than later. South Florida has won the toss. They have deferred, and so the Illini will get the ball first, Jay. A bad snap goes over River's head, able to collect it, and now he is piled up. So a loss for the Illini in inauspicious first offensive snap. On third and 18, Rivers under pressure and able to elude it. Fires downfield and overthrows his wide receiver. And so the Illini three and out on their first possession. Forcing Illinois into fourth and long is nothing new for the USF defense. They are among the nation's leaders in sacks and tackles for loss. It was a good start for them, one the offense hoped to match. Scrambles and fires complete. That is McCants, and he is knocked out at about the 27. A week earlier, quarterback Blake Barnett engineered a fourth quarter comeback against Georgia Tech, but this time he was hoping to get the jump on the Illini early. But a promising opening drive would stall in Illinois territory. But they are going to go for it on fourth down. Fires, it is complete, and a first down to his big tight end you were talking about, Mitchell Wilcox. There is a flag on the play. Looks like it's going to be USF. The flag negated Wilcox's catch for a first down. The Bulls had to punt, leading to the game's first touchdown and a 7-0 Illinois lead. This crowd coming to its feet here at Soldier Field. Barnett rolling out, dumps it off for Wilcox. Can he get there? He does. South Florida moves the chains. And inside the five goes Randall St. Felix, first in goal for South Florida. Jordan Cronkite needed one play to answer the Illinois score. He would rush for a career-high 136 yards. So just like that, South Florida able to strike back. Jordan Cronkite, the touchdown run, and the Bulls are on the board. Rivers dragged down there at the 40-yard line. Ronnie Hoggins, the leader of the defense. Rivers fires it and incomplete. The Bulls did not allow another touchdown in the half, but Illinois kept pecking away with field goals. While the usually potent South Florida attack was stuck on seven, the Fighting Illini kicked three unanswered field goals, one from 53 yards, and USF would trail at halftime for the first time in the season, 16 to seven. At the break, head coach Charlie Strong had a simple message, finish the game. His defense continued to make stops while the offense had the confidence it needed, having just erased a double digit lead a week earlier in the fourth quarter. The Bulls played hard until they got their break, or more accurately, made their break. Quarterback Blake Barnett was on his way to conference honors as co-offensive player of the week. The Bulls had been getting the yards and would pile up 626 of them. Now they were about to get some points to go along with it. Mitch Wilcox setting a school record with eight catches by a tight end. As we head into the fourth quarter, 11th play of this drive for the Bulls. Barnett rolling to his left, throws into the end zone, Solomon, and it is a touchdown. In two games, 28 unanswered points by the Bulls on the opposition in the fourth quarter. Halftime adjustments by the coaching staff, mental toughness by the players to play the full 60 minutes, had South Florida in position to come from behind again. So third down and four for the Fighting Alana from their own 35. Rivers dumps it off, and they can't get there. USF in business. On first down, Barnett. Gonna go deep. And what a catch by St. Felix. First down inside the 15. It is Kobe White. 
Price, 26 yards. This one is good. Weiss filling in for the ill Jake Vivanetto had pulled the Bulls within two. First down now, Barnett. No one open, Barnett throws it up there and it is caught. Tyree McCants coming down with it. Steps up in the pocket and throws, got a man wide open, Solomon, touchdown, USF! 50 yards! In three games, Barnett has thrown seven touchdown passes to five different players, a great way to make new friends, and he spread it around again on the conversion. So Cronkite alongside Blake Barnett. And they get the two points. And St. Felix hauls it in. For the second straight week, Barnett and the Bulls had come back from a double-digit deficit in the fourth quarter. And Lovey Smith's team is down six. Here's Rivers under pressure, and he is sacked. Kirk Livingston. Perfect 3-0 heading into conference play.